and national security analyst and former State Department press officer Morgan Ortegas. Morgan, Merry Christmas uh, the day after to you. Merry Christmas. What do you make of Shanahan? So I think that this is a great choice for an acting uh, Secretary of Defense. Um, and, and so really, that's what you're looking for. You're looking for someone who could advise the president in a way in which he thinks the council is, is appropriate. And you're also looking for someone who can run a department. For so you think running it like a business will be beneficial, but will he be able to deliver on implementing President Trump's agenda with respect to issues like Syria and others? Reevaluate our weapon systems, mm -hmm. our, our, our ships. I mean, everything that the military does re reconstitute that for great power competition as a, I think any president wants a, the team around him to be someone that can advise him for the, the way in which uh, they see fit You're, everyone serves at the pleasure of the president he should have a team that he thinks is best to advise him uh, almost out of time will a collective no. media freak out <laughs> over Shanahan prevent him from actually taking the position no I don't think so because already been confirmed he's got a great record we're gonna take us thank you so much for joining us thank you Good day after but Christmas. can I tell you I want to be a secretary of Space Force just want to put that out okay, there. Okay, we've got that. There you go. It's breaking news. You have a secretary for the Space Force. Thank you very much. Thanks. We'll find out. All right. So security analyst Morgan Ortega. Uh, Morgan, what do you make of that message? It has um, a lot on his agenda. Clearly, what he's decided to do in Syria has caused, you know, a little bit of an uproar in the national security um, community, but Russia than they would fighting a counterinsurgency in the middle of Iraq. Um, so I know that's a long-winded answer, but we're facing a big transition right now in our national security, in our defense posture. And so there's a little bit of, you know, shaking as, as we Who get through that transition. Who has the president's ear right now? Well, I mean, listen, the, the person... He agreed, but he criticized and campaigned in yep. Iraq. There That's are fair. fears that he's doing the same thing now with Syria as well as Afghanistan. So I followed al-Qaeda in Iraq as an, an analyst for a very long time. And so I've had the privilege of meeting. She's very impressive. Her name has been bantered about by many senators, including Joni Ernst. If she were appointed to the position, she'd be the first female Secretary of Defense. So, you know, we'll see who the president ultimately appoints. Since General Mattis is out, he had a very high approval. What really happens when you have a cabinet head is most of the senior political appointees uh -huh. do that. And just make it special. If someone's going to go to your store, you've got to make it worth their while. They've made a big time, and, you know, Bonobos was picked up by Walmart. So there's a lot of that going on right now, and I think you're going to see a lot of that continue. Speaking of change, uh, from Kohl's, um, they're partnering.